Come out to the box. Out the box. Out the box. Yeah. Hello, YouTube. Cheers, and welcome to The Basement. My name is Bruce Lively. And I'm D-Boy Slim. And The Basement is the first daily hip-hop debate show. From Tuesday through Friday, we tackle the most intriguing topics in hip-hop culture and the world around it. So welcome back, Basement family. It's City Wrecking Wednesdays. You know what it is. And that means we take two cities steeped in hip-hop, put them against each other with any criteria that we feel can win the debate. Anything. As always, City Wrecking Wednesdays is brought to you by the Fleetwood Spice Collection. Listen, for a spice changing experience, give the Fleetwood Spice Collection a try. Big, bold flavors unlike anything that you've ever tried before. On my word, the Fleetwood Spice Collection, people, it's time to change your spice. So today's question, Kansas City versus Miami, but it's a twist. We actually have a special guest. His name is Young Vet. He's doing outstanding music out there in Kansas City. And I don't think, uh, I don't think D-Boy knows what he's up against today. Kansas City versus Miami. With that being said, let go. Live. We live. What's happening, YouTube? We got a special guest in the house. Like I said, a young vet. Introduce yourself. What's going on? It's always not the vet. I'm out of Kansas City, Kansas City, Missouri, to be exact, representing the Midwest. I'm an independent artist representing up in being incorporated. And uh, what's going on? I'm ready. Let's do it. You ready to get this debate on, huh? Yeah. All right, let's give it up to uh, B-Boy Slim, man. What you got, buddy? Kansas K City. Kansas City checking in. But today we debating is uh, the hip-hop that's come and coming out of uh, Miami is a little more potent than Kansas City. Uh, here we go. Here we go. You jump in and chime in anytime you feel, young vet. But I'm going to start off by talking about Miami. Good. The way that I feel about it. Uh -huh. From my perspective, I feel like Miami is, has like a way bigger platform and they do have a lot of music that's growing in. They do have a lot of good beats, a lot of good hooks, a lot of good producers. But I just kind of feel like that we have like that same kind of hunger that mm. like every hip hop artist probably have back in the day because we still have those circumstances to where it's like we don't have record labels in our city. We don't have the advantages for it for us. So we still like trying to grasp everything and we still got that same ambition. So the mm. people that comes from us, we still got that stuff that the people respected when all of this first, when it first started. And I made that same point off camera to D-Boy as, as to how much money and, and everything that, that Miami has there's just a bigger platform with bigger labels, more studios, even dope money, all of that. It's it's right there on 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 the uh, ocean. So, copy. I think point is taken. I like that point too. Uh, there may have been more opportunity to pass through Miami than Kansas City. Still, in fact, we can't take away from my. Good. Yeah, yeah, you can't take away the Right, right, right. We can't take away the history and the contribution. The contribution that Miami put in with their own with their own style of music even. The bass, the whole bass sound, the whole booty shake. Even though you don't hear too much of that these days. But uh they, they did contribute that in the early nineties, late eighties. Poison Clan, Loop, Two Live Crew, Classics, Me So Horny, We Could Do This. Doodle -doo Brown, it goes on. J right. JT Money is a, you know, he's a definite OG coming out of Miami, you know. So we can't take right. away from their contribution and with, you know, with the impact that they've had on hip hop and the influence that they set out. Slide on that. You, 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 you let me know a couple artists that's coming out of Kansas City worth talking about. Besides yourself, that is. Point, right at this point, we have like 
a few people. We don't really have a lot of celebrities who've made it from this from this city. But like I said, like we do have that hunger. And so like the ones who have made it from here are doing like some different things. Like I don't know if you know who Tech Nine is. Yeah, we know yeah. We, that's the only one we know about. No, that's the only one he knows about. That's the only one we know about. Shout out shout out some of the some of the dudes that we may not know about. Cause wait, before you even go there, I'ma let you know. Tech Nine, Young Vet, Big School, Cut Calhoun, and Chris Calico is who I'm bringing up in this debate. Because we're talking about skill versus that plat the major platform. And that's how I plan on winning. You give me some more of the underground dudes we may not know. A couple of the other underground dudes who we may not be speaking on. We have like, like my city is a little bit different. So a lot of our artists who have the range, they probably incarcerated. You mm. know what I mean? The things that are of all sorts. But the ones who have the followers, we have like, uh, artist named Two Gun TV. We have an uh, artist named Ron Ron. These are guys from different areas who are actually like creating a nice amount of buzz. You know mm. what I mean? We also have like, we have a controversial like type of thing going on in our city right now. It's really like battlefield because everybody is so hungry and trying to prove that they have that chance and so that. Everybody who like kind of come from here, when we do get that moment, when we do get that chance, like the Don Tewins or the Eddie Rivers or something like that, we do it and we do it to the maximum and we're very great because we know we don't have those other chances. Right. And so the people who are from here, who I just gave you names up, those people are like very talented lyrically and they also have like the expert the expert uh, knowledge of how to like create a beat and create a flow 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 and Right now in the game, Technology from Kansas City has one of the best situations in the industry. Period. And I'm period. not taking nothing away from anybody else. Yeah. I'm just saying that it shows that when you are hungry and you don't have those type of chances when you get mm. that opportunity, okay. you take it a little bit more serious and you get a little bit more to have a more bigger impact to make history and to be a legend. That's a fact. That's a fact right what there. What a lot bro. of people don't know is Tech Nine has the number one independent label in the world. That's Period. A fact. Rap, rock, anything. He has the number one independent label in the world. That's all on his back. He does his own publishing companies. He has his own marketing companies. Has his own distribution companies. As well as he uses uh, a couple other ones. Um, and his own warehouse. His own artists. Studios. The number one independent uh, label in the world. And so that on its own. When you say, you know. When you bring up whoever you're going to bring up. D-Boy. That on its own, 22 albums. Listen to songs like Fragile featuring Kendrick, 31 million views independently. What if it was me where he's talking about cop shootings, okay? Uh, I mean, the man had put out 11 albums in one year, and all of them hit top 15. All of them hit top 15 in that year in the Billboard charts independently. I... That grind that Young Vet is talking about, that hunger Young Vet is talking about, this is what it produces. This is why, in my mind, they win this debate. That that skill, talent, that hunger, it shows itself. You just may not have heard of them, but people are listening. We're talking about millions of views. Somebody out there knows who they are. Here's the thing I want to say about both cities, is that what I find intriguing is that both cities are unique cities. And in, in, in the fact that the music reflects that. Tech Nine, of course, being the number one independent label or independent independent artist anyway. But he calls his label strange music. Now, you know, I've noticed with Kansas City, you have a, a combination of things. You have the, 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 the gang banging influence, you have the alternative hip hop influence. Um and being that y'all are in the Midwest, I'm sure you're influenced by the East and West Coast. So those combination of things, your music, the music is a reflection of that. Well, Miami's no different because of the culture and the, the unique culture that they have in Miami, as far as the Haitians, the Puerto Ricans, the, you know, all those different different ethnicities and, and, and uh, cultures mixed together is with the you know the whole beach and. That, you know palm trees and all the partying scene or whatever you know the cocaine and all of that like all of that 
is Miami's culture and it reflects in the music. It has since day one with Two Live Crew, with, you know, where they they made such an impact in the game, it, it had to go to le- uh, to the, to our to our to our legislator, I believe, and, and and they had to start making parental advisory stickers for the type of content I remember that was that. coming out of Two Live Crew, which is why they came out with songs called "Band in the USA." You know, we can't forget about you know cultural joints and, and conscious. You know, before we even thought what a conscious joint was, they was making joints that was, you know, pertaining towards us, and it was political and was conscious. Going on to the Trick Daddy, we can't forget That's about Trick Daddy. That's the only one they did. You Get know, out of here. We can't forget about Get Trick Daddy. Get out of here. You know. Two live crew was conscious. Come on. I, they- I said they had a conscious joint, but I said the combination of the music that they come out with is a reflection of their city. It's a reflection of them getting banned. Again, like I said. What was you saying, Vet? Like I, you see, I'm getting jumped on the day you two with, with the two against one. No, he was just talking. He was in the middle of saying something because he's a like I said, two against one. It's a hundred percent right. The things that are going on in our states, in our music scenes, and in our real life scenes are reflected in the music that we make. And it's, it, it, it is for some 100%. It's just that we live different lifestyles. So when you from Miami, you want to hear a certain type of thing because you're used to a certain type of thing. No doubt, when no doubt. When you state, states like that, that's what you're going to want. And then when you from a different place, a smaller place, the place you don't really get that life like that, it's, going, it's still kind of behind. It's still going through things that certain people may not know about. You don't want to hear this type of stuff because it's different. It's a different thing, a different vibe. You, you may not be taking it 24-7. You may really need something that help you get in what you want to do. And that's when them, those certain artists, you're going to turn the party music off. And then you're going to turn on the other music, and then you're going to do that every single week. You feel me? And when my Friday come back up, and that's when you're going to put that other stuff back in, like, okay, this is just dropping, and we're rocking till Sunday. You feel me? Facts. Facts. Okay, now, I'm sorry. Now, I said all that to say that Miami hasn't always had the, the spotlight and hasn't always had the platform that it has because it was considered a party state. It was considered, oh, it's just palm trees. Oh, it's just the beach or whatever. Nobody, you know, until, you know, more recent times, with the exception of Two Live Crew, you, you didn't hear about the streets of Miami or what really went on inside of that city. You know, the stuff that you don't you don't see or you don't necessarily hear every day. And so when that's why when dudes like Trick Daddy or, or JT Money came out, they was able to break the surface. There was a spotlight because there is a story to be told about Miami on the other side of the, the bridge or whatever, as they call it. Now, we can't forget about artists like Ace Hood who who, who did his thing. And other producers I want to shout out of, out of Miami too, like DJ Khaled, Cool, mm. cool and Dre, Scott yeah. Storch. Okay. There's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a whole lot of producers that don't get their just do coming out of Miami as well. The music, there's, there's, there's no, it's not a coincidence why the music, you know, stays in, in rotation out of Miami. It's good music coming up out of there. Um, and we can't forget about Ross. That's what I'm gonna wrap it up with. Ross, he, he's probably been the one that broke the mold or whatever. People question his authentic authenticity and you know whatever have you. But one thing that that can't be said is that he doesn't come out with good music consistently too. You know. So. Well, I just want to I want to say this before you start, vet, young vet. Uh, the I'm gonna play a video. I'm gonna play a video right now. From Young Vet, and it's a it's a double video. It's two songs. If I'm tell me if I'm wrong, Struggle Control and Habitat Adaption, right? It's two songs. That's how I looked at it. Right. Okay. So right. yesterday, Tuesday, you saw us put up one of those videos. I'm gonna play the whole thing right now. But inside that song, Young Vet, when you talk about um, when you saw your father shining and it made you want a Porsche, when you said you put your head and more books than something. I can't even remember the line right now, but I listened to it over and over again. I think that's what is the difference when you're talking about Kansas City rap and Miami rap, is this level of, of, of introspection, the level of, of, uh, of storytelling that maybe Ross has gotten to now, but before he before he said hold, before he said you can't hold me back and talked about this, his poor upbringing, I heard nothing about any of that for the first two albums, and that is indicative to me of Miami rap. It's just 
the surface stuff, the, the the extra dope, the girls throw it back, the party, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if I'm comparing the two, this is why. Matter of fact, check this video out. I don't want to focus too much on the negative. Mini X Productions. It's a gamble, you always crap dealing with snake eyes, we OGs and little niggas mad because they can't ride. I don't get past this nigga, we don't let shit fly. We just stuff them hollows in them glass and let them clips fly. Mad at the world because they shouldn't have let my brother die. Now I got this rage and I be praying trying to shake it off. My baby mama get under my skin, I be snapping out. Niggas want to argue, I'm like what we about to rap about. You not my bitch, we fighting or we shooting out the good to me be like young vet. What you talking about? Because I want to change, but when I do, they try to mark me out. Had a solid team, Mary, since we kicked Mark out. That's not a sneak dead C line, I had to clear it out. They hate you when they ask for forgiveness and you turn them down. They say I need to talk about my problems. I grab my pen, then I write it down. That's why I hate these rap dudes, cause they not true. Everybody faking about this struggle when it's not cool. I came from no white sugar rice, that's good food. We ain't get help, we got left and still pulled through. In my city, you magged it. If you mad 21, congratulations, my nigga. Look out for it, we done come. You ain't God. I ain't gotta listen to you, but then they throw me in that cell like nigga, yeah you do. If you wanna hear lies, I'm the wrong one to grow to. They think I'm bad now when it ain't near how it used to. I came from no white sugar rice, that was good food. We ain't get help, we got left and still pulled through. In my city, you magged it. If you magged 21, congratulations, my nigga. Look how far we done come, you ain't God. I ain't gotta listen to you, but then they threw me in that cell like nigga. Yeah, you do. If you want to hear lies, I'm the one run the grew to. They think I'm bad now when it ain't near how it used to. I came from no black sugar rice. That was good food. We ain't get help. We got left and still pulled through. Inspirational transfer his lyrics into a quote. Last of a dying ring was the realest I ever wrote. Rest in peace, B Weezy, the realest nigga I know. I got murder on my mind, I ain't never letting it go. Went from the struggle, so we grunt. My fear is to go back broke. My uncle ain't never worked since I was born, he been cooking work. Watching my cousin thug made me hop up off the porch. Seeing my daddy ball made me wanna buy a Porsche. And Kiki doing time, so I'm holding down the fort. Been macking these bitches. Just damn, I'm not compete like it's a sport. These fullies attack lungs like cancer from a port. And right now I'm on the run, cause I ain't never go to court. So I'ma take them on this drive, or I'ma shake them on my foot. I learned knowledge is the power, got my head in every book. But my heart is in the streets, cause I'm surrounded by these crooks. I ain't never lost my cool, and I ain't never gonna get shook. You live by it, die by it. And they said that in the book. And my verses be so real that I barely need a hook. I'm taxing for every verse you got. Gotta pay me for the hook, catch a nigga mug and then he gotta pay for every look Just rob him to take it home, then count everything I took In this rap shit, they say I'm top three in every book Everything y'all doing now, boy, y'all did it as a whip yourself Save hoes, boy, I'm like Captain without the hook uh. You a fraud and I'm the truth and that proof is in the pudding I been spitting the rock like I ain't smell what I was cooking My dub level is high, I ain't never took a whoop and I hustle in PT That's the reason we be cruel. If you ain't from here, you shouldn't fuck around in my city. I know where to get them heaters and them pounds in my city. Pull up on these sucker bitches and get found in my city. I know who the real niggas and the clowns in my city. How you will, that? I don't fuck around with my city. Adapt to my habitat and I got damn with my city. Been busting and breaking packs, making thousands in my city. My city made me a sad. You want to last in my city, young. Uh. Fuck rap, I'm on my grind, I need racks, I got my skittles in my Mac, it ain't no getting out this trap, I'm still screaming. Free Shunky in this Range Rover with Mookie, if he with me, he a robber, he a slap you with this ooze. But not let y'all bitch pursue me, see I me, see choose, the competition ain't the question, when you made this shit close, I got the blueprint, you ain't even got the blues clue, I be in my whip, blowing stick 
He out of backwood. Little niggas say they gon' smack me, and I wish they would. Lung shots, let them try to breathe. Yeah, he wish he could. My big cousin got a get mani, and I'm just this hood and perfect with the ace, but shit. Social with them just as good. Resume too legit. Comfortable in every hood. Only ones mad is the rappers who ain't half as good. And I heard these niggas plotting. Yo, army gon' need more. I die for what I kill. They kill for what I die for. No filter. Talk about it, young vet. Talk about it. That video right there is something that I put together for my project last of the Iron Brain Part 2. That project right there is basically a reflection of me and my life and everything that I've been through and everything that I've been through to get to this point. The part one is like the beginning and this right now is like my peak. And so I'm using, and, 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 this, and these two songs, I just wanted to show that like I controlled my struggle and I adapted to my habitat and I came prepared and still compelled through every circumstance. Even when things become overwhelming and we get stressed out and we go through stuff, we make it look good. You know what I mean? It's a lot of times a lot of people look at you and they think you're strong and we are strong. You know what I mean? But there's a different side to every story. And so like I get to open it up about myself and things that I've been through and things that inspired me and things that I hope will inspire somebody else. Mm. Because we all come from a habitat and we all have to adapt to it. No matter what it is, you're going to get the battle that you can handle. You know what I mean? So when it comes to that time when you gotta face up and you gotta do what you gotta do, you have to adapt. And that's all that, that, that video really was for me. But everything that I have on that project is something conscious, conscious, something, a concept or something that can really help the next person. Something that can really inspire the next people to do something different and what's being provided in front of them. Like, I feel like I got the pieces of the story because I lived it. So I'm able to give you the beginning, the middle, and the end, the good and the bad, the pros and the cons. You will not leave or educate. You would not leave going down the road, going that west to when you take these paths and you do the thing that you do. I did tell you both sides of the story. I didn't, I didn't manipulate you like this, right? I gave you all the game, I gave you all the keys, and I told you what's going to happen from the beginning to the end. Everybody don't get a second mic that you want to do. Got you. And that comes through in the music, too. Um, Thank okay, you. And that comes through in the music, too. Um, okay, so we did kind of ambush the boy Slim here. Uh, you did you did your wrap up, but give it give it one more. I think I I think I said everything I need to say about why KC wins. Y'all check out Cut Calhoun. Y'all check out Chris Calico. We're looking at millions of views there too. But go ahead, go ahead. You, you get to end it off, D boy, because I know we two against one is tough. Again, which did I? Right. We still won though. Because of where I'm at, it's this guy with his with his pom poms over here. I just said the because, truth, man. Because of where I'm at. I haven't heard and seen a lot of Kansas City rap. I ain't gonna hold you. So I liked I, I, I enjoyed listening more than I spoke anyway. But um as far as Miami's concerned and the debate is concerned, again, like I said, you can't take away from the contribution that Miami's put in. And they haven't always had the spotlight on them and always had the platform that they have now. And hip hop is they, they made they made their stamp in hip hop and in rap and in our culture. You know, and like I said, with the names that's come out, even, you know, even the guys that you, you, you look at and you say, oh, it's more antics than rap. Uh, what's the kid? Black, uh, excuse me. Gunplay. 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 Mm -hmm. You know, I even enjoyed the, the one little single everybody else enjoyed, Bible on the Dash. You know, they got joints coming up out of there. It can't be denied. Um, You know, like I said, it, it's diverse in itself because of the uniqueness in the culture. So you had two live crew and that whole booty shake thing, and now you have Rick Ross or whatever the case may be, and he's a bona fide lyricist. You you know I don't care what what level what you know what perspective you're coming from, what you're talking about. He's a lyricist. So okay, and one of the best in the game. So Miami's still relevant right now, currently, whatever the case. So like yeah, that's my case with Miami. Okay, so we'll leave it there. Listen. At the end of the day, it's up to y'all. Leave those comments. Who wins this debate? Who wrecked whose city? I love doing these, man. We always learn about so much more. And it, today was even more special because the artist Young Vet 
And what you don't know is he's be becoming a permanent part of our round table. We're going to be going to him, uh, working with him on a lot of different projects. So y'all keep looking out for Young Vet. Go to Boss Hall, the the website that I that I've seen a lot of videos at. Anything else you want to tell him, man? He's part of the team. Y'all remember this. Young Vet, why you in T B E T T? No space. Separating me from the others. I represent F and B Incorporated. Come check me out. Show me some love. I'll show it back. I appreciate everything. Like they said, we are in the host of doing business and we will have a lot of things for that in the future and we will make the impact and we will make history. Gotta have a nice day. Outstanding. Salute, G's. Keep doing your thing out there. Keep doing it. All right, let's get to this. A, a few of these, uh, few of these comments that y'all left. We had to say it. Bon Bon talking about uh, Jay Z versus the whole South thing we did last week. He said, "I don't think these people actually listen to the entire album. Nowhere in the album is Jay Z dissing young rappers. As a matter of fact, he states that old heads shouldn't be shouldn't because even Tupac wore a nose ring. <laughs> okay, he That's even said fact. facts. He even said." To be yourself on the line. On the line where he said, let's see, uh, would you want to be the old Jay-Z or the new you? And that that fact is taken. I think we spoke on that too. That's a great comment, Bon Bon. Um, Mr. Fleetwood, once again, he's talked about the same, same subject. He says, this is simply about one party being able to see the different levels of the game from a higher vantage point. Hopefully these young cats can get to see it from Jay's perspective one day. Old heads say that youth is wasted on the young. Certain things aren't able to be understood without the experience. These young guys will get it as they get older. This has always been the case. As far as I'm concerned, this is just business as usual. And Mr. Fleetwood, you're very correct. Uh, Glow Bling said the same thing. I would say we have examples like Young Vet right here. We have examples like Lil Bling that says it, it just takes the experience to come up. and. Give them that time. We appreciate all the comments out there. We appreciate all the love. What's up, Vet? I was gonna say I agree with that as well. You know what I mean? Just come with the fast life. Let me join with these artists that are giving money. You get your first job. You know the boss soon. You know the boss fast. And then you know you get out there. And then you want to buy a car. And then you get out of the hospital. And then you get out of the rest of the house. And then you get out of here. It's just about people just growing up and just giving us something for us to understand that life. Facts. With that, with that, listen, you're looking at the basement. We appreciate all y'all. Press that subscribe button. Go find out how to buy these beats that you're listening to right now. Team Box Cut of Beats right there in the subscription. Keep checking in. We out of here. Peace.